So amphibians worldwide are declining. Um, that has been well documented on all continents. And so we initiated a study to find out how can we use um, habitat to explain whether or not a pond is occupied by a given frog species or a toad species. And that study clearly identified that the amount of forest around the pond heavily influence whether or not a pond is, is occupied during the breeding season by, by frogs and toads. So then the question came up, why is the forest so important? And Courtney and Olivia um, started this research then to find out where do toads go after the breeding season. It looks like uh, American toads and fowler's toads have like a pretty big difference in the type of microhabitats they use, even when they're in like the same area. Um, fowler's toads seem to use vegetation a lot more and coarse woody debris a lot more than American toads, which tend to mostly, most of their time compared to the fowler's toads, uh, just sit in the leaf litter, um, which is pretty interesting. The company actually sends us the tags um, and then uh, once we have the tag, we just use uh, silicone tubing and um, aquarium silicone, just a little bit of it to put the um, tag onto the silicone. My research question kind of built off of Courtney's, so we're looking at the same toad species except we're comparing their daytime movements to their nighttime movements and seeing how those differ and how their movement patterns differ. Um, so we put the code of the toad to identify which one it is and then we identify the substrate it's in. So that one, it says that it's in buried under leaf litter and then we measure the leaf litter and we get the um, temperature and humidity of the soil and the air and then we take uh, soil moisture. So our research has already identified that there are vast differences between the two species in terms of how they select habitat and that they actually move substantial distances from the pond. So some individuals moved um, over 100 meters away from where they were breeding, clearly indicating that we need more forest around the pond in order to maintain healthy breeding populations of um, frogs and toads. Courtney and I received a phone call from students and they were saying, we found this snake and we get a signal. And so we all coated them went out and sure enough it was a, it was a garter snake which just ate a, one of our tag toads.